Hi guys, welcome to my music room. Today we're going to do some body percussion activities using our body as an instrument. The first activity we're going to do just to get our brains ready is to play a Samoan Sosa or a Samoan hand clapping game. Here's what it looks like when it's put all together. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Now it looks pretty complicated, but we're gonna break it down so you guys can do it together. You ready? Here we go. Number one is a pat on your legs, a clap in your hands, and a pat in your legs. Really simple, okay? Have a listen to what it sounds like. Can you try that with me? Be gentle on your legs. We're gonna do lots of patting today. Here we go, number one. Let's try that four times. Number one. Number one. Number one. Last time. Now the idea with this is that you have one class and one sound. So when we're doing number two in a moment, can you listen to see if you have that class sound? We don't wanna be hearing this. We wanna be hearing the cadence created by the tapping and the clapping. Now number two is very similar to number one, except for only doing one clap at the, at one pat at the beginning. We're gonna do two. Number two sounds like this. Pretty simple, hey? Let's try it together. Number two. We're gonna try that four times together. You ready? Here we go. Number two. Number two. Number two. Did you hear the class sound? One class, one sound. Okay, now number three is a little bit tricky. It's actually number two done three times. Have a listen to number three. That's once. Two. Three times. So when we speed it up and we put it all together, it sounds like this. Now you might have heard I was making that second one just a little bit stronger. That's the start of the pattern each time. We've got a special music word for that and that's called an accent. Now it looks like that on top of the notes. Here I go, number three. I've got some counting that helps my students with it. Perhaps it might help you too. It goes like this. One, two, clap. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap, down. Can you try it with me now? Number three, here we go. One, two, clap. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap, down. Let's try that two more times. Here we go. One, two, clap. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap, down. Number three. Okay, give your legs a rub. What we're going to do now is we're going to try putting number one and number two and number three together. We'll do each pattern twice. You ready? Number one. Number one. Number two. Number two. Number three. Number three. legs are wrong. Now you're allowed to make mistakes and you're allowed to get it wrong but in my music room we're not allowed to give up. We try 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 and never give up. So if you get a little bit lost or you start doing the wrong thing during our pattern you can hear it. What could you do to join back in? Have a think. You might watch your teacher she might be, he or she might be doing the same actions. You could watch your partners. They might be doing the right things. Or you could wait for the next number to be called. Let's try it again. We're going to do number one, two, and three all together. Uh, and we'll do each pattern twice. Here we go. Number one. Number one. Number two. Number two. Number three. Number three. 
How did you go that time? A little bit better? Okay, number four is a little bit tricky. Number four starts with two pats, just like number two, but then it's got two claps. Have a look at number four. Okay, I've got some counting that helps with this one too. It goes like this. One, two, clap, clap. One, two, clap, clap. One, two, clap, down. Okay, so it's four and then four and then we finish with number two. Ready? Let's try it all together. Here we go. One, two, clap, clap. One, two, clap, clap. One, two, clap, down. Try it again, here we go. One, two, clap, clap. One, two, clap, clap. One, two, clap, down. Nice. Let's learn number five now. Here we go. Number five has some swap side parts in it. So we're gonna start with two pats and a clap, just like the other patterns. Then we're going to go to our left arm on our left knee and we're gonna tap it twice with our right hand. And then we're going to clap and then we're gonna bring our right hand to our right knee and tap it twice with our left hand. And then we're gonna clap and go down. So all together, number five looks like this. Try it with me, here we go. One, two, clap, left, tap, tap, clap, right, tap, tap, clap, down. Okay, let's try it again, here we go. One, two, clap, left, tap, tap, clap, right, tap, tap, clap, down. We try it a little bit faster. Remember, you're allowed to make mistakes. You're allowed to get it wrong, but you're not allowed to give up. Try, 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 and never give up. Here we go, number five. One, two, clap, left, tap, tap, clap, right, tap, tap, clap, down. How did you go? Okay, so now we're gonna try something really tricky. We're gonna put all five of those levels together. You ready? <laughs> Remember those strategies for if you get lost, how can you join back in? Try, 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 and never give up. Here we go. Number one. Number one. Number two. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number five. How did you go? Did you get that class sound? Remember, one group, one sound. Okay, we're gonna move on to our next activity, which is learning some body percussion to go with our song. Make sure you are whole body listening, your bottoms are on the floor, your legs are crossed, your hands are still, your eyes are watching, and your ears are listening. That's good whole body listening. We've got four different parts in our song, so we've got four different patterns to learn. The, the verse is the first pattern, and it goes like this. Clap, click, clap, clap, click. Clap, click, clap, clap, click. If you can't click, maybe you can shake, okay? Because we're gonna need our mouths to sing. One, two, three, four. This is our world for us to share. Don't pretend that we're not there. This is our time to sing our song. Don't tell us that we're always wrong. So How did you go with that one? Sometimes the double clap can be a little bit tricky. If you want to do a simpler version, clap, click, clap. Click. Try that one, see how you go. Pattern number two is for the pre-chorus, and this one's a nice simple one, and it's just a pat on your legs. Remember to be gentle, we've done lots of patting today. At the end of the pre-chorus, it gets faster, and we're gonna do a double pat as we lead into our chorus. Let's try it with the music. Ready? Sometimes you just want to sing out, but it's hard. We're 
double it now. Here we go. The next part is the chorus. Now the chorus has two different patterns that go together. It's got a chest thump and a clap. Then we're gonna swap our hands over and do another clap. Let's just try that part. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. The next part goes like this. Clap, chest, click, clap, clap, chest, click. But they're all TT, so they move a little bit faster. Okay, let's try that together and then we'll put it with the music. <laughs> clap, chest, click, clap, clap, chest, click. Clap, chest, click, clap, clap, chest, click. So if we put those two patterns together, it looks like this. Chest, clap, chest, clap, clap, chest, click, clap, clap, chest, click. Okay, let's try it with the music. How did you go? Remember, try, try, try and never give up. If you get lost, think of some strategies to come back in. Okay, the last part is our tag, the na-na-nas. And this one's fairly simple and I'll show you why at the end of our song, but it's a stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, clap. Stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, clap. And if you're in a building that's got a wooden floor, that stomp is gonna be amazing. My floor is a concrete floor. I don't get a very good stomp here. Stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, clap. Okay, let's try that with the music. Stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, clap. So now we're gonna put all of those actions together in the song. You're allowed to make mistakes. You're allowed to get it wrong but we're gonna try, 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 and never give up. So if you get lost, find a strategy to come back in. It might just be waiting for the next part of the song. Verse, pre-chorus, chorus, tag. Verse, pre-chorus, chorus, tag. Then we go back to the pre-chorus, then the chorus, and then the tag to finish. Here we go.